Okay, so I also want to talk about sign conventions with Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL, and Kirchhoff's current law, KCL. So first, let's talk about KVL. And the example circuit I'll use is a battery with two things connected in series, and I don't care what these things are. They could be resistors, capacitors, inductors, diodes. This still applies. So I have a voltage VS across my battery, and as with resistors in the previous example about the sign conventions, I need to assign signs, plus and minus terminals, to these two passive elements. And again, with a simple circuit like this, it might just be kind of obvious. You think, okay, current's going to be flowing that way. So I'm going to do plus and minus there, plus and minus there. Let's call these A and B. And VA is going to be the voltage across element A. VB is going to be the voltage across element B. So you might be able to just look at that and kind of write the equation in your head that VS equals VA plus VB. But remember that the, the formal statement or way KVL is written is voltages around a closed loop sum to zero. So the way to do that a little more formally is to pick a point where you're going to start. Say I'd like to start at the point just above the positive terminal of the battery. Go around the loop. And whenever I encounter a plus sign, I'm going to add the voltage. Whenever I encounter a minus sign, I'm going to subtract the voltage. So going around the loop, first I get to VA. And I'm going to have plus VB as I keep going through the loop. Keeping going around, I hit the minus sign of the battery first, so that's going to be minus Vs equals zero. And obviously these equations are equivalent because I can just flip Vs over to the other side and then I get the same equation I have there on the top. Now, some people don't find that intuitive to subtract the battery voltage. You think of, as you're going around to loop, a battery adds voltage and then the other elements drop the voltage. So you could also do this if you want, as long as you are consistent. Say I'm going to start down here, go around the loop this way. The battery adds voltage, and then the other two elements drop voltage. Now you're doing the opposite of whichever sign you encounter first. But again, that equation is the same thing. You just move VA and VB over to the other side, and you get the first equation. So three different ways to represent the same thing. Again, this seems trivial, but it can trip you up on a homework assignment or an exam problem if you wind up getting a minus sign flip somewhere. So for example, just to put numbers on that, say if I had Vs equals 5 volts and Ba equals 2 volts, then it might seem obvious, you can just do the math in your head, that Vb is going to equal 3 volts. Where you have to be careful Again, is if you have a more complicated circuit where the signs aren't always immediately obvious. So if for whatever reason you have a circuit and you wound up assigning sign conventions to the parts like this. So say there are some other things connected, I'm not going to bother drawing them, but you wound up having the plus and minus sign switched for VB here. Now you need to be a lot more careful about applying KVL and making sure you don't make a sign error. So Again, I'm going to use the second method I presented above, where I start there and go around the loop. I have VA, and I'm going to have a minus VB and a minus VS equals oops, zero. I have my same numbers as before. I'm going to have VA equals two, VS equals five. And if you made a sign error there, you might somehow get VB equals 7, which can't be the case. So now I'm going to get minus VB equals 3, or VB equals negative 3 volts, which just means that the signs I had assigned initially are actually reversed. So negative 3 volts with the signs in this direction is the same thing as saying... So if and this is where I got negative 3 volts in blue there, that's the same thing as saying I had assigned my signs like this initially, and I actually got positive 3 volts. My just initial assumption I had made about the signs is incorrect, and the voltage is actually in the other direction. So 
Again, if you weren't careful about that, you could get something weird, like wind up getting 7 volts for VB or getting the sign flipped. 